Assembling the console. Step one, remove the excess parts from the rotary knob area. You will need upper part of console. Here's how. As shown below, separate the two plastic parts from the upper part of the console by twisting them back and forth. They are no longer needed. This makes room for the variable capacitor. Step two, mounting the contact clips. You will need upper part of console, 28 contact clips. Here's how. You can see below which rectangular recesses in the upper part of the console need to be filled with contact clips and which remain open. Each of the contact clips should snap into place with a click. Step three, mounting the variable capacitor. You will need upper part of console with contact clips, three screws from bag of small parts, variable capacitor, rotary knob for the variable capacitor. Here's how. The variable capacitor is fastened to the upper part of the console using the two short screws. Its terminal leads point backward, meaning toward the contact clips. Then the rotary knob is stuck onto the axle of the variable capacitor and the axis is carefully rotated until it stops. The marking on the button, the short line, also needs to point to the left. Now screw the knob onto the variable capacitor using the long screw. Step four, connecting the variable capacitor. You will need upper part of console with rotary capacitor attached. Here's how. To connect the variable capacitor, connector O is stuck into contact clip A, cable G into spring B, and cable A into contact clip C. In order to keep the cables from coming loose, press them into the comb-shaped cable holders.